Hello, thank you for watching my presentation, Cloud Computing Helps Organizations to Overcome New Challenges. My name is Jenny Tso. I have a master's degree in software engineering and was a software engineer in Silicon Valley for more than 10 years. I'm currently conducting research on how cloud computing impacts organizational design. As we are all aware, the world we live in is changing faster and faster. Technology is the main driver for this phenomenon. To cope with these changes, organizations need high speed and high quality information using modern information and communication technology called ICT. Cloud computing is a new information and communication technology which provides shared computer resources to organizations to reduce their cost and minimize their IT maintenance. Besides its high computing power and cheap cost of services, cloud computing is in high demand as it provides companies the advantages of high performance, scalability, accessibility, and availability. Research has shown some cloud vendors are experiencing growth rates of 50% per year. The fact of the matter is, in the international context, there are 10 sectors outside of the organizational domain that are affecting organizations. The technology sector is one of the most active ones and has changed massively in the past decades. In the following slides, we will look at six major challenges brought by the changing environment and examine how cloud computing helps organizations to overcome these challenges. The first challenge is globalization. As Thomas Friedman points out in his book, The World is Flat, the world is becoming a level playing field. Globalization brings distances closer and creates more interaction between organizations. It also makes the organization's external environment become more complex and at the same time promotes cooperative relationships. Cloud computing can connect organizations remotely, helping them to access and exchange information faster and easier. For example, through the cloud, organizations can communicate with each other through email and coordinate using calendars, online meetings, etc. Cloud computing can provide these services cheaper, faster, and more reliably than what the organizations can do by themselves. The second challenge is intense competition. Globalization encourages interdependent relationships, but that does not kill competition. Instead of eliminating competition, it actually accelerates it. Cloud computing not only helps organizations to lower their IT cost, but transfers IT management and troubleshooting burdens from organizations to cloud providers. IT departments can then shift their focus to business needs. Companies can apply the savings from this shift to core business development. For example, in the past, in order to catch up to technology advancements, companies needed to invest a big chunk of money and time on IT upgrades from time to time. This unavoidably reduces the funding and time available to other business core developments. With cloud, now companies just need to make a request and cloud providers will implement the changes for them. The providers are fully responsible for the success of the upgrade, and the upgrade could be done in hours rather than months. Challenge number three is increased uncertainty. As you already know, a changing environment always increases uncertainty. Uncertainty pushes organizations to modify their internal design to respond to the external changes. Here I want to talk about the two types of organizational designs. The first is mechanistic, which seeks efficiency through machine-like standard rules and procedures, a centralized authority and fewer departments. Military, hospitals, and post offices all use this type of design. The second design is organic, which is looser, free-flowing and adaptive. Organic designs decentralize authority, increase communication and coordination across departments and divisions, and respond to changes much faster compared to a mechanistic one. The design for software companies is typically organic. Cloud computing can help organizations to integrate data from internal departments so information and interrelationships are able to be accessed and shared. Cloud computing can also centralize employee relationships and development programs, which helps to increase employee satisfaction and motivation. Challenge number four is changing customer demand. The fact of the matter is that organizations today pay more and more attention to customer feedback and demands. 
customers not only have more influence on organizational decisions, but also constantly ask for faster, better products and lower prices. Cloud computing delivers enterprise-level programs such as supply chain management applications and knowledge management systems, etc., for a fraction of the price. Challenge number five is speed of responsiveness. Due to the changed price and product demands from challenge number four, projects and organizations become smaller but run faster. Organizations need more extensive planning and forecasting, as well as a holistic view of customers and operations to make best decisions quickly. Cloud computing helps scalability to meet customers' growth and market demand. For instance, cloud providers can help a startup company to change its computing capacity if the organization needs to respond to a spike of new users and data traffic in the air. Cloud computing also delivers customer relationship management software, or CRM, to facilitate the customer relations needs of the organization. The last challenge is the new digital workplace. The digital revolution has changed how businesses operate and how people live, work, communicate, and exchange information. You may have already heard about one type of cloud computing capability, which is called Software as a Service, or SAAS. SAAS focuses on providing users with business-specific capabilities. For example, Google Apps provides customers with web-based office tools so employees can remotely access office applications, email, calendar, files, data, etc. Does cloud computing really do any good to organizations? I'd like to describe a few success stories in the following slides. Kaggle is a San Francisco-based startup company linking organizations with complex problems to top researchers around the world. The founder wanted to create an easy-to-use site to connect both parties. Since the company turned to the Windows Azure cloud platform, they passed on the IT burden to Microsoft and controlled the cost well by adopting a pay-per-use pricing model. You may also have heard about Airbnb or may have even used its service for your vacation. Airbnb is a mid-sized, again, San Francisco-based company. It offers a community marketplace to connect renters and property owners around the globe. In its second year of operation, it turned to AWS, Amazon's cloud-based web service. Due to this change, its customer base has grown to over 37,000 cities in 192 countries. In the next example, Japan's Post Network is Japan's largest bank. It was privatized in 2007 and wanted to use technology to streamline its business processes, as well as to compete in a new market with minimal IT resources. It chose Salesforce.com's product PAAS, Platform as a Service, and now supports more than 6 million insurance policies and 14 billion mail packages annually. While cloud computing's benefits are attractive, there are also some issues. Among all of its issues, cloud security and compliance remain the main inhibitors to cloud adoption. Cloud security and compliance issues fall into two areas, the cloud provider and the cloud customer. First, the cloud provider has to ensure its infrastructure is secure, its customers' data and applications are protected, and that its customers' compliance requirements are addressed properly. Additionally, the cloud customer has to have trust to share its security and compliance requirements with the provider, and it must believe that the cloud provider can take proper measures to protect its information. Next, it's important to identify the cloud security concerns, which can be grouped in different dimensions and have been aggregated into three big areas. The first area is security and privacy. This dimension includes identity management, physical and personnel security, availability, application security, and privacy. For example, cloud providers have to ensure all critical data is masked. Only authorized users should have access to data in its entirety. The second area of cloud security concerns is compliance. It includes business continuity and data recovery, logs and audit trails, and other unique compliance requirements based on the individual business sector. HIPAA and FERPA are two examples of U.S. regulatory statutes. The third area of cloud security concerns is legal and contract issues. 
cloud providers and their customers can negotiate terms around liability, intellectual property, and end of service. Some legal issues in contracts and the related laws may vary by country. In addition, legal issues may include record-keeping requirements in the public sector, where many agencies are required by law to retain and make available electronic records in a specific fashion. What do experts think about the cloud security issues today? Gartner, the world's leading information technology research and advisory company founded in 1979, published a press release on October 6, 2015 entitled, Top 10 Predictions for IT Organizations and Users for 2016 and Beyond. In this release, it predicts, organizations' internal procedures could lead to compliance failures and increased levels of risk. For years, cloud providers have been blamed for creating cloud security issues, but more and more researchers found cloud customers need to take responsibility on this matter too. In general, cloud security issues rely on both the cloud providers and organizations themselves. To conclude my presentation, I predict that the organizational external environment will continue to change. Organizations will need to continue to find new ways to cut costs, improve profitability, and expand economies of scale to maintain their competitive advantages. I believe cloud computing has the capability to provide organizations with powerful yet flexible IT infrastructure to support their current operation and prepare for future growth. Even though cloud computing faces its own issues in its early debut, all of its pros and cons will continue to drive its further development and improvement. Thank you very much for your interest in my presentation. If you need more details, please look for my paper in the proceedings entitled Cloud Computing Helps Organizations to Overcome New Challenges. You are also welcome to contact me directly, jennytso at yahoo.com. Thank you for your attention.